Environmental impact of 3,000 homes. How about 3,000 homes with their own privately operated wastewater treatment plant? And did we mention those homes are a short upgradient from major recharge features that could send potential contamination up to a million gallons per day into a primary drinking water source of 1.7 million people? Due to the quality of the Edwards Aquifer that we sit on top of and how easy it is for pollution to sink through the broken limestone rock or the karst, this is a city that has spent decades and millions of dollars preserving open space to the west and to the northwest to prevent contamination of the aquifer. Outside of the recharge zone is a contributing zone and certainly close to the boundaries it's hard to tell where one ends and the other begins. Even treated water retains classes of chemicals that would flush quickly, research has shown, into the Edwards from this area. The CEO of San Antonio Water Systems insists that recent concessions made by Lennar Homes, including what he described as in increased filtration requirements, would minimize, he said, any kind of contamination to the aquifer. But neighbors of the project are not convinced. They have dogged this project from the start, warning of its threat to the aquifer, to local water wells, and roadway traffic that in a, a still very rural pocket of San Antonio. They are joined by prominent detractors like Texas State Senator Donna Campbell, who wrote against Guadalote Ranch development, quote, this proposal threatens groundwater integrity, endangered species habitat, and public health while disregarding TCEQ's statutory duties under state and federal law. And TCEQ commissioners unanimously advanced and approved the project permit, overriding their own in-house Office of Public Interest Council that was urging them to, to delay and further uh, get further operational conditions. Now, Lennar Homes, at the furthest edges of San Antonio's own infrastructure reach, has to set about figuring out how to pay for that wastewater treatment plant now that everyone hopes will consistently function at the highest standards. They've hit upon this idea of creating a municipal utility district, or a MUD, which is a political subdivision that generates its own revenue to build and operate water and sewer or other essential services that aren't available otherwise. This week on Wednesday, members of the San Antonio Planning Commission took a brief and early look at a request to build under those conditions. And opponents were there in freshly printed shirts for the occasion reading, Don't Muddy the Water.